Hi guys, my name is Majid. In today's video, we're gonna be doing an office tour. For a lot of you guys that have been subscribed to our channel for a long time, this is where we actually do a lot of our recording and videos. Uh, for those of you that are new, uh, thank you for subscribing and welcome to our office tour. So we're just gonna go in through the door. And when you walk in, uh, you can pretty much see the room, but the first thing you'll notice on the right, we have a little bit of a, a high stand basically has our router on it. It's a Linksys E4200 version two router. It's pretty old, uh, but we use it. It works fine for our needs. And then going down through it, we have an iPad here, just for storage pretty much. And then at the very bottom, we have our modem. So basically our internet setup is from this stand right here. Coming further into the room, the first thing you'll notice is our shelf on the far wall. Uh, let's go take a quick look. All right guys, so taking a look, this is the shelf. The first thing that you see when you really come into the room, um, it has most of our stuff in it. Uh, a lot of it's just boxes of peripherals that we've either used in our computer or stuff that we've gotten and just placed it here just for storage sake. Um, as you can see on the top shelf, we have some items displayed uh, along with our turntable. You might've seen it in some of our comparison videos with mobile phones and stuff like that. So that's what this is from. Uh, and of course we have a Panasonic GH2 camera right here and of course the uh, Canon 60D is what this video is being recorded on so you don't actually see it. Uh, along with some of our other equipment, uh, the drone controller that we just put out the video for. And going to the bottom, like every tech person pretty much has this, a whole bunch of cables and wiring that comes with your products. So there's a place that you wanna find to put it. And we've actually just stored it in these little containers at the very bottom. Uh, it's all organized in terms of what it's for so over here we have like generic cables for monitors and video connectors stuff like that and then we have networking cables in here uh, miscellaneous items in these two last containers just so it organizes the space a little bit and you can have it look a little better rather than having it all messy so the next setup we have is actually Wadge's workstation. This is where he does all his work and editing and if you've watched some of his videos on his other music channel um, it's all done over here as well Taking a look at it, we have the Corsair M40 Raptor mouse right here. Um, the Vengeance K95 Corsair keyboard. So it is a quite nice keyboard. Um, and then we have three 24 inch Dell monitors. Now these are not the ultra sharp series, but if you guys want, uh, we'll have a full description of them in the information section below. Um, taking a look also underneath we have a mobile preamp. This is for any uh, XLR inputs, like the microphone that we'll show you in just a second. Um, that's to be connected there. We have a small USB 3.0 card reader. Uh, it's perfect for transferring files from the camera onto the computer like that. Uh, two Panasonic monitors right here, just so you can output sound and just basically keep a track of what it is that you're doing in terms of audio for your videos. There's his laptop that he uses uh, as a daily driver. It's got a SSD upgrade in it. So it is fast as you probably will notice that it's a couple years old, but it does work really well. Um, and then we have the microphone that he uses for voiceover. So if you guys watch a video um, and it's just audio, this is most likely where the uh, voice has been recorded and that's basically the setup, and that's what the mobile preamp is for as well. Taking a look at the computer that uses, it's in a Corsair case, custom built PC. Uh, this thing is actually a pretty powerful computer. Again, uh, for all the specs, we'll have it in the link down below so you can check out exactly what we're using. Uh, it is water cooled and it does have a pretty nice i7 processor in there. So. Yeah, uh, on that side. All right, so on this side, this is my setup. This is where I basically do all my work, uh, including videos for YouTube and of course work for school and everything else. Um, as you can see, these are my three Dell 23 inch ultra sharp monitors, uh, basically the same setup that we saw before, but um, I don't have any gaming keyboards. Uh, this is actually a Logitech, just an office style keyboard that I got for 14 bucks which is a great deal, but uh, I'm a fan of the low profile key, so that's why it's there. Uh, this is a Razer Mamba mouse, one of the originals, the first one that came out actually. So it's from 2010. Um, it has a dock and you can have the ability to go from a wired condition to a docking recharge condition, which is awesome. The speakers that I'm using are the Audio Engine A2s. Uh, these are actually computer speakers. They're a 2.0 setup. There's no bass, as you can see underneath. 
I forgot to mention the desks that we're using in this room. Both desks are IKEA Gallant desks. Just the setup style is a little bit different. Um, for mine, I have a custom level and underneath there's a USB 2.0 hub that I've mounted right there. It's gonna be upgraded to a USB 3.0 soon, but that's what we're using right now. Taking a look at my computer, this is a Raven case, uh, custom built PC from back in 2009. Some of the peripherals inside have been upgraded to the later i7 uh, and USB 3.0 setup inside. So I'll actually have a link for that as well in case you guys are interested. Uh, this is one of my favorite cases, so I've kept it over so many years. And yeah, as you can see, it still looks pretty awesome. Moving down, I have my MacBook Air. This is my daily driver in terms of a laptop, mostly because of the weight and the battery life. It has a really long battery life and it works really well. Um, and for you guys thinking like it having a Windows and a Mac setup, it actually has no issues. And then moving forward, there's a little IKEA storage unit in here. I have various items like opening up the first drawer. There's a lot of miscellaneous things, uh, including memory cards, USBs, little adapters and uh, converters for Android devices along with anything else you might need. Um, going through, basically we have other devices as well. There's a USB 3.0 hard drive, uh, calculator, stuff like that going throughout the storage unit. Um, to the right, we have an all-in-one printer. This is basically very important for any office space. Um, just a simple Canon printer. It does what we need. It's not color, just a black and white kind of printer and it works really well. And on underneath it, we just have a storage unit for uh, multi-purpose items like paper and uh, ink cartridges and other spare keyboards. Like right here, we have two keyboards. And that's pretty much it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, the next part of the video is actually gonna be our video game room tour and of course our studio setup tour where we actually record some of the better looking footage from her comparison videos and other videos that you might have watched. And Wadge is gonna be actually taking you through both setups. Okay guys, so we're gonna continue on our tour and now what we're gonna take a look at is our gaming room over here. And as you can see over here, this is a smaller space but it works really well for playing games and watching TV shows and movies. And the cool thing is the TV itself is an LED TV. It is a smart TV. The model name is actually the 55E6150 series, which is a bit of an older product. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles but it does have built-in Wi-Fi, which is always nice. And uh, we're using the Harman Kardon AVR146 receiver, which is an HDMI receiver. It doesn't actually do full HDMI processing, but it does do pass-through, and we have kind of a home theater uh, speaker system to kind of accompany it. I really love Harman Kardon. They have great sound for the compact size of speakers. Obviously, the uh, price is a little bit higher than most home theater and box systems, but the quality is definitely a lot better, in my opinion. We have the Xbox Slim down below the Xbox One as you can see over there. We don't have a PlayStation 3 or a PlayStation 4 at the moment. Uh, unfortunately we had to kind of get rid of those but we'll probably get those things back because I do love those consoles. So now we're going to move on. We're going to go downstairs in our home theater slash studio space. Right now we're in kind of home theater slash recreation mode. If any of you guys are really interested in making a pretty decent home theater system I would highly recommend looking at the Epson Powerlight Home Cinema series projectors. We're actually using the Cinema 8350 1080p projector which delivers some really great blacks for the actual dollar amount and the dynamic contrast ratio which is pretty good for a mid-level home theater projector. But for the most part we use this space as a studio environment where we actually shoot some of our comparison videos where we can control the light a lot better. Here we have kind of the full-blown setup where we have a simple three softbox array uh, these are, you know, the kind of cheaper CFL style softboxes, but they're pretty good in a controlled environment if they provide some decent light. They're from Lightron. Now you notice we have an overhead camera mounting setup, which is basically two light stands connected to a crossbar at the top, which is connected to basically a camera tripod mount, and you could pretty much put any kind of tripod head up there. We have actually a ball head, which gives us a lot of flexibility to move the camera in pretty much any array. We can also 
lower and raise the whole setup depending upon what we're shooting. And it makes it very, very versatile to pretty much compare any kind of products or to get any kind of top-down shot. A lot of people are using these setups for doing unboxings and comparisons and reviews. And it's a pretty inexpensive setup to get, especially if you want to have that peace of mind and making sure that your camera is safe in this kind of higher position. Now, the table that we're using is just a simple foldable table. You can find these Walmart and most stores. And as you can see at the top of the table, we have two kind of veneer tops from Ikea. One is a lighter wood color, one is a darker wood color. So depending upon what kind of colors we have on our products, we can choose the best color to make the product itself stand out. Now, the last thing I'll show you guys is just our homemade slider system, which is actually using an instrument stand, a keyboard stand, to basically prop up a little thing that I made with aluminum pipe and some wood. And uh, the cool thing was actually using a uh, dolly system from moveyourcamera.com. It's basically a dolly system that allows you to pretty much put it on any kind of surface area that's relatively smooth because it has its own tracking system with a couple of wheels and it works pretty well. The results are pretty decent for the versatility. And that's really it guys. If you like this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything in particular that we talked about in this video, please make sure to leave that on a comment down below. We will have most of the kind of things you saw, the different products that we have in the description below where you could check out where we got it and stuff like that. So definitely check that out if you're interested. And uh, this was a kind of a cool video to kind of show you guys our kind of workspace and where we play of our games and make most of our videos. So I hope you gives you kind of a good insight in terms of how our videos get made and uh, kind of what we do in our spare time. But thank you so much for watching and uh, hopefully you subscribe. But if you haven't yet, make sure to check out our home YouTube page, which is Majid Sayed 2, where you'll find all of our latest videos. We're obviously gonna have all these new videos coming out with a whole bunch of different comparisons on the new super smartphones that are coming out right now. So hopefully we'll see you then. But other than that, we'll see you later. Take care.